I run into women occasionally that will say, I've had the UFE procedure with a different interventional radiologist, and I didn't get the relief that I was looking for. That will occasionally happen. There are a small percentage of patients that will not get the relief, at least initially, that they were looking for. And that's why it's so important to follow up with your interventional radiologist that performed the procedure and get an MRI with and without contrast. In my practice, every patient comes back three months after the procedure with an MRI with and without contrast. And what we want to see there is on the contrast enhanced images, the uterus is alive, it has a blood supply, so it will enhance brightly with the contrast, but none of the fibroids will enhance, meaning they're all dead. And so if the fibroids are all dead and the patient can tell their symptoms are better, likely I'll never see them again. But there is a small percentage of patients that the dominant fibroid, let's say, is partially alive. We know we've cut off the uterine supply to these fibroids. They must be getting supply to keep them alive from a secondary blood supply. And the most common is the ovarian branches. And if a woman is interested in fertility, unfortunately, we can't touch those ovarian branches. But if she's not interested in fertility and she wants to avoid an operation and she's still suffering with fibroids, we can go and do a second embolization into those ovarian branches. And just like with the uterine artery, cut off the blood supply, the ovarian branches supplying these fibroids. And then the patient will get the relief that they were looking for.